Good morning, guys. As you can see, it is 6.14 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and get up and get a shower for today. Today is a pretty busy day, so I'm just wanting to wash off all of that tired feeling from just waking up. After getting a shower, I'm gonna head downstairs to the Bailey, Bawoo, and Pluto. And get them some water as well. We have a pretty busy day ahead of us, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Hey, so, um, as you can see, I'm just getting in the car. I'm getting ready to go over to see um, some dog, uh, well, a dog and a cat that I'm watching right now. They're super cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just watching them right now. So I'm just going over to see them, say hello, and then I'm gonna get ready to come back to the house and we're gonna decorate our Christmas tree. Um, usually we do everything, you know, pretty early on. Normally we have everything done like end of November, right at the beginning of December, but this year was just a little different. We've had a lot going on. So yeah, we just got our tree put up earlier this week and we have our presents under the tree already. So we're all good to go. So yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, I just made it to Apollo and Casper's house. So I'm going to head on inside. I'm gonna get Apollo on his morning walk in just a second and get food for them both. And then we are gonna head back home for a little while just to make sure we can get everything kind of started for today. Just cause today is gonna be a pretty busy day and we're gonna get some stuff done. All right guys, let's go. Hello. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to go grab breakfast for me and Logan really quick and then I'll be back at the house for a while. <laughs> um, and I've got to go to work today still. Um, I go to work at like 3 p.m. though, so leave us pretty soon. All right, let's go. <laughs> hey, okay, um, so we're gonna be doing our tree. because you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, tomorrow. Um, you might see the dogs around a little bit and our cat is just snoozing over here so you might see him move around later and we're just gonna do this real quick, okay? We did a lot of driving. We went to a close by military installation to get through with the few errands that we needed to do. We ended up having lunch at Raising Cane's and we picked up some things for the house. Most importantly, we stopped to pick up some new scuba tanks for our dive later tonight.
But before we get to our dive, first I'm gonna have to go to work. I'm working a short shift today just from three to seven. It is nighttime. It is like almost eight o'clock. Just got off of work, got some stuff taken over to one of my friend's house just because um, I had a little gift for her. My Apollo's again and I'm letting him out, getting him some dinner and we're about to watch an episode of The Witcher and then we are gonna get ready to go diving at Electric Beach tonight. Super excited for that. So yeah, we'll see you guys again in a few minutes, okay? However, I lied. I ended up not recording anything else until we were already getting in the water for our dive. But tonight is Christmas Eve, so tonight can't just be a regular night dive. We brought a Christmas tree. Our dive was at Electric Beach. Just for a little background on this dive site, there is an electric power plant across the street that uses the ocean water to cool equipment. Around the area we are diving, there are two massive pipes that eject hot water at high speeds back into the ocean. This area is very popular among divers and snorkelers alike due to the large amount of fish that tend to hang around the pipes. But the one downside to this side is the pipes. The water that is ejected comes out at a very high speed and launches whatever gets in front of it, so it can be a little scary if you get caught in that surge. We ended up making it out to our destination spot and weighed the tree down and tried to take pictures with the tree. As you can see, I kind of messed that up. We made our dive around the site and after about 35 minutes had passed, we went to retrieve the tree. Unfortunately, a lot of the footage didn't come out very good just due to how dark the water really is at night. But that was not where our trouble stopped. As I had mentioned earlier, getting caught in the surge from the pipes can be very scary. As the current was pushing against us, myself and one other girl had been pushed into the pipe surge. After my partner managed to pull me out of the surge, I ended up making a controlled ascent just to calm down. Eventually he and I did join up with their other divers and finish the remainder of our dive safely. So that is all I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you guys coming back and watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If not, hit the dislike. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, be safe, be kind, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!